guys, Michelle here with the Baby Cubby today, and we're gonna be doing a quick review about the new 2017 Form Moms tub. So one of the best parts about the Form Moms tub is that it actually has a built-in thermometer right here. So in order to add the batteries for the thermometer, you do just need to open this little uh, circle thing back here. So first you'll just go ahead and insert them, and then you'll replace the Let top. Do it. Okay, you do it. So with this thermometer, it's super helpful for us parents who maybe are a little bit worried about having the right temperature. Um, we know little infants don't regulate the temperature as well, and so it is important to make sure that your water temperature is a good, isn't too cold or too hot for them. You do need to go ahead and push the button for 15 seconds. So we'll just go ahead and hold that down. This little window right here will actually uh, be blue if, you're, if the temperature of your water is under 90 degrees. It'll turn green if it's between 90, 90 degrees and 99 degrees, and then it will go red if it's 100 or over. So you'll have your water go down here onto the temperature gauge to uh, measure the temperature, and then it will then collect in this small reservoir right here, which then it will begin to spill out into where your baby will be. And then as that fills up, there's actually a little drain right here that it will drain out the side so that you're constantly getting clean water. The nice thing about this tub, even though it looks large, it does actually fit in most standard sinks, including the double ones. Um, and that's because it has this split right here. Um, so it actually, one side sits in one side of the sink and the other side sits in the other. It's a cup. It's a cup. Where does it go? In here. In here. In there. Can it go mm -hmm. somewhere else? In here. In. There. And there. Now we just want to go over the actual dimensions of the tub, just for those of you that might be wondering if it will fit in your sink. So first off, um, from the base of it to the top, it is eight and a half inches. This portion right here, uh, its widest is just four inches. Um, from here to here, it's another eight and a half inches, so where your baby sits. And then the reservoir itself is only three inches wide. Um, and then the entire thing is 31 and a half inches long and then 16 and a half inches wide. So go ahead and measure your sink, make sure that it will fit fine in there um, just to, so that you can use it however, how you would like to use it. Okay, so now there's three different ways to kind of use this tub in terms of rinsing and stuff, especially if you wanna make sure you're not like using um, too much water or anything. So the first one is the normal way that Form Moms shows how to do it. Um, which is to fill this up and have it constantly cycling. That one obviously will use the most water, um, but it will also keep the water the cleanest. The next option is to <laughs> just have the water fill up the reservoirs, turn it off, <laughs> and then only cycle it out if it gets dirty. So if baby pees in it, um, or if you've like washed them and you wanna get new water in there, that's when you would turn it back on and let it cycle. The last one, which will save the most water, is to just fill up this small reservoir right here only, and then um, go ahead and just rinse baby with it. And then once the water's dirty, go ahead and clean it out. Um, so it's super easy. There's multiple ways to use it. Don't feel like you have to have the water running the whole time. That's just the ideal to keep it the cleanest. One nice thing about this tub too, is it has a couple different drains. So some things to note, this drain right here that go, that's right next to the slot for draining all that old dirty water, um, that's called the newborn drain. So if you have a newborn and you're using this tub, make sure you open that. That will make sure that the water stays at the correct level for a newborn so they're not <clears throat> sliding down into the water or it's not getting too high for them. Um, the next thing too is it features two other drains, which is fantastic because some sink tubs don't. So you actually have to like lift them up and like try and mess with them and not spill it all over yourself, which trust me is really difficult. Um, so you just have this plug right here that you unplug and one inside the reservoir itself and everything will just drain out super fast while you go dry off baby. And then by the time you get back, <clears throat> everything will be drained out and you'll be ready to just uh, wipe it out with a cloth and you'll be good to go.